Hey, business building warrior, welcome to Silent Sales Machine Radio, the podcast that features hundreds of success stories from people who have gone from knowing nothing about e-commerce to building beautiful businesses using the internet creatively. I'm your host, Jim Cockrum. It's my pleasure to open the episode today, and I'm going to turn it over to two of the great coaching directors on our team who are interviewing a special guest. I'll tell you about all of that in just a moment. But we've started doing something new around here that I wanted to tell you about. If you've been listening for a while, you know we love finding creative ways to stay in touch with our listeners. You can get on our email subscription list. That's at silentgym.com. You can opt in there. Uh, We love having our Facebook group, 73,000 business building warriors from around the world, hanging out, interacting 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But not everybody sees every important post there. It can be a bit of a challenge to communicate to the community. So we've started a SMS text service. There's a link with information to all of this in the show notes as well. But if you have the ability to write down a phone number right now, you're not on a run or in a car, write down this phone number and text us. The number is 507-800-0090. It works in the US and Canada only. Maybe we'll get to more countries as we can as technology allows. But for now, it's US and Canada only, even though we know there's a lot of you out there in other countries listening to this program. But we're starting to test it out. Several hundred people have already got on our list. What you want to do after you've written that phone number down is text that number. And you want to text the word Silent Gym, just like you see right here, Silent Gym. That's me. If you're watching, if you're listening, that's just the word silent and then J-I-M. That's me, all one word. And that gets you on our SMS alert. You can jump off of there anytime you want just by saying stop. And of course, we'll stop texting you. But we're going to keep you up to speed on the latest free training events. Once a week or so, at least a few times a month, we go live and we have special training sessions, how to find inventory, how to dive into different business models that we teach on this show with experts from our community. We want you to stay informed on those kind of updates and those important announcements. So if you want to check it out and see, we don't abuse it. We're only going to use it you know, a couple times, a few times a month at most, but it's a great way for us to be sure we can stay connected because email gets lost. Facebook can become a convoluted mess of stuff that you missed. You're not sure if you missed anything or not. Hey, get on our text alert system. Again, that phone number, 507-800-0090. That's the phone number. And you want to text the word silent gym, all one word. And that'll get you on our text alert list. We'd love to see you join us. Well, let's talk about today's episode. Today, we're going to have Brian and Robin Joy Olson. They've been doing several great episodes lately. You guys have told us you love hearing from them, the way they talk with each other about their business that they've built together and their story is just so compelling. They've risen in the ranks to become great content creators in our community. They're going to be a very much sought after speakers at our upcoming Proven Conference as well. They're going to be on stage a couple times doing a couple different sessions for us. You can get details on that event, by the way, at theprovenconference.com. The website again, theprovenconference.com. There's still some tickets available. The VIP was almost sold out as I was recording this. So there may or may not be any VIP seats left, but there's certainly a handful of general admission seats. If you want to join us, they're going to be there. They're going to be presenting. But today we're also bringing on board the show here in just a moment, Susan Gilbert. She's one of our coaches as well. She's been with us for quite some time. She'll go into her story. I'm not going to steal any of her thunder. I love some of the examples they used today as they were interviewing Susan on her story and her background and some of the things she's achieved in her business. She operates her business from her home by choice because she loves employing a team of about 15 to 18 people who on a very flexible basis contribute when they're available to her maintaining a very robust Amazon and eBay selling operation. It's a cool story. She's got her kids involved. The friends of her kids are involved. Some other people who need flexible income, helping them build this business. They are helping her build this business together as a team. Uh, she tells some great stories about you know different personality types contributing to her business and her family. She's got one kid who's like loved. He's beloved by the local retail stores that he goes in and fills shopping carts. He's kind of famous for that because he always comes in and fills carts. They even take selfies with him when he shows up. That's a great story that she shares. That was a highlight for me listening to that. Um, She talks about the impact that uh, the conference has 
on her business. And, and Brian and Robin Joy spend some time talking about the just the impact of attending a live event and how much the conference, the Proven Conference has meant to them. And I appreciated that segment as well, even hearing some stories I'd never heard before about how that three-day event propelled their businesses, all three of them, forward dramatically. The relationships, the connections, the encouragement, the validation, and the step-by-step, here's how to go build your business type of content and information that we cram into these events. We're going to have over 40 breakout sessions at the Proven Conference, if you weren't aware. You need to be there. If you can't be there, we've got live stream. Either way, get to theprovenconference.com and join us either virtually or in person. Our ticket prices for live stream are incredibly low. It's a no-brainer price. We want you to participate. We want you to be part of this event. Well, I think that's a, a pretty good introduction. One of the other things you're going to hear is the theme today is they discuss who is coaching for, who should call our coaching office and have a chat with one of our consultants. They dive into it in, in a great way. At what point are you ready for coaching? What kind of questions are you going to be asked? What's that conversation going to be like? And I think they, they uh, without taking any of the comments that they're going to make here in just a moment away, they cover that topic really, really well. So I enjoyed just as a a fan of this community and the great leaders who are in this group. I just enjoyed this episode, getting to know three of the great leaders from our community a little bit better today. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode as much as I did. Let's get Brian and Robin Joy and their guests today, Susan, on the line right now. You're going to enjoy this one. Have fun with it. Welcome back to Silent Sales Machine Radio. We are your co-hosts. I'm Brian. And I'm Robin Joy. And this is Coach's Corner. Today we're joined by Susan Gilbert. And so happy to have Susan on the show with us today. So uh, a guest that when we were first kind of brainstorming this, uh, Robin and I both said, you know, it'd be great to have Susan on the show. Mm-hmm. And oh, I know, can. right? It was, uh, so nice. <laughs> so um, we're really just uh, excited to have you on here. We, we've heard you at least one time, probably more and look forward to getting just a brief recap of how you got started in the business. And yeah, why don't you just, Take it from there. Kind of tell us how you got going in the Amazon FBA. Well, thank, you. I, thank you so much for sharing the space with me today. I am, you know, elated to get to spend some time with you guys. <laughs> okay, well, happy thing. I wish I could just get you guys talking for the whole show. <laughs> but, um, you get that all the time. <laughs> 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 but my name is Susan Gilbert, and I jumped into... Amazon right around the time COVID hit. Mm -hmm. So right around 2020, my husband is a pastor in our city and I've, you know, been home homeschooling our kids and wanting to have a job for all of those years that would, you know, help me orbit around our home and church. And so I sold on eBay for, I mean, 20 years before Or starting on Amazon. I am, you know, an expert garage sailor, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, it's still my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Someone else is a good garage sailor too. <laughs> my sis, my sister coming. and I have fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need to do that. The next time yeah, we're in the same fun. city on a Saturday, you and there I are going to Oh, yeah. wouldn't that be fun? Oh, that would be so Love fun. That. <laughs> um, so I have, you know, I've spent my life just learning, you know, what I can sell on eBay meeting budget goals for the part of the income for our household that I needed to bring in. And it just flowed merrily along really for two decades. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a teacher by nature and did a little teaching, you know, back and forth in that time. Did some children's ministry at our church, but primarily eBay was was my income contribution to our home. So fast forward to 2020 when garage sales, like the rest of the world, stopped and thrift stores stopped Mm -hmm. and all of, you know, secondhand buying stopped. And it really became, you know, a necessity for me to figure out, my goodness, what, you know, what is going to be next for, you know, for my life? What do I want to do in this next season? Who knows? You know, at the time, we didn't, I didn't know if we would ever attend another garage sale, if there would ever be mm-hmm. any, you know, none, none of us knew how the world would, you know, reshape itself coming out of COVID. And so, you know, my husband and I put a bunch of options on the table, 
you know, going back to a full-time job outside of our home, we, we ran through many, many options. And a friend of mine said, you know, you ought to listen to Jim Cochram's podcast, which I've been familiar with. He said, you know, I, I kind of wonder if you might enjoy selling on Amazon. So that was at the very beginning of 2020. And I sat in our, my front yard, the world was shut down, you know, and I just sat in a chair in my front yard and I started going through the pack course, just Mm -hmm. one lesson at a time. (laughs) And, um, you know, what else were I going to, what else are we going to do? You know, we played a lot of travel, (laughs) we worked a lot of puzzles, you know, Uh you know, we're on the phone a lot with our families and, and we, and I learned Amazon and, um, that's really how I got started with it. And I just, you know, ended up figuring out it's, it is different than eBay, but it's the same as eBay in certain ways. Mm -hmm. And so there's, if you, you know, enjoy being able to run a business from your home and you enjoy kind of finding underserved products that can be Mm -hmm. brought to a larger platform for a Mm -hmm. higher price that can be profitable for you, then, you know, this just might be for you too. So as I just began to sort of learn the ropes for Amazon, I signed up for the coaching program with Jim's Cochram's coaching service. And goodness, that just took off, you know, things took off for me with that. And so that... Who who were your uh, coaches? I had the privilege of being under the Pruitts. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, you guys. So who is going to, who's going to go down under them? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so they, I mean, they were, you know, completely instrumental to my growth and mentoring. And we, you know, my husband and I just kind of looked at this as this was Amazon college for me. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I took it very, I took my learning of, running a business and selling on Amazon very seriously. You know, I, it was not, you know, this was, I wanted an A in the course. I wanted, <laughs> and so I wanted a 4.0 if I could. And so, oh, I'm, you know, I'm still coming in at a 3.2, but you know, the elusive 4.0 is still out there. So, you know, still, still trying to go for it. But, um, so that was, you know, that was, 2020, 2021. And, you know, honestly, from there, graduating from the coaching program, you know, it's just been, it has just been a business, honestly, I've fallen in love with. I, I've just enjoyed, you know, so many of the relationships that I've discovered in my own community and on, you know, through Jim Cochran's community, um, My Silent Sales um, Facebook group. Mm -hmm. It has just been a complete joy to really relaunch a business like this um, at this point in my life. So we're, we're full steam ahead around here. That's great. Still selling on eBay too. So oh, right yeah. to awesome. come back. And so you you will see me around, you know, selling at, you know, buying and selling at garage sales and selling on eBay. That's still a huge love of mine. But um, but so I do just, you have do you have you know, clients that also sell on eBay that you help them out with as well? I do. I, you know, I tell every student I have, you know, I would tell the world everyone should have an eBay store. I mean, even if you're not a a professional reseller, Mm -hmm. because it is a way to recycle what you already have. Mm -hmm. And so many people with a few clicks could learn the value of items that they have used, purchased, used, and are ready to get rid of. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know, going to garage sales every, every week, you know, you see it, people just, you know, they don't know with a little bit of work, you know, you could sell one or two things at this garage sale and, you know, I hate to say it, but make as much from the whole garage sale, you know, yes. just, it's been I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah. Taking a little bit behind the eBay curtain and learning it. So you do, you do need a footprint on eBay. You do need some regularity behind you to, for the algorithms to really work in your favor. And so that's what I teach all of my students to activate in their lives and to, you know, to have an eBay store to just kind of run it on the side. Great. So we know that you're sourcing the eBay stuff from thrift stores, garage sales, things like that, right? Estate sales. 
but what about on the Amazon side? Do you specialize in online or retail or wholesale? I actually do a little bit of all three. Okay. So Good. I I really enjoy the most RA. Mm-hmm. Strangely enough. <laughs> no, I'm I go, okay. Yes, me and Brian <laughs> yeah. are together on that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't know why, but I I love my people out there, I guess. I love, you know, those relationships at local stores. I just enjoy also investing in my community with my money. You know, Mm -hmm. I love being able to support local businesses who actually do appreciate the income of someone who's buying in bulk. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge, huge win for me. But last summer when the OA Simplified course was released, I guess it was last summer. Yes, um, already. (laughs) Yeah, already can't believe yeah. it. So I decided I needed to know. I needed to know this world. Mm-hmm. And so I spent, you know, more hours than I would like to admit <laughs> educating. I mean, honestly, I mean, if it takes, if it takes a normal person, one is going to take me three hours to figure it out. Oh, and sure so nice. I mm-hmm. it took me triple the time, mm-hmm. but I decided to go into the deep end on TA, TE, and TB, tactical arbitrage, tactical expander, and tactical bucket, mm-hmm. and really try to learn the ins and outs of um, sourcing online. And I figured out that it's not just a ton different than brick and mortar stores. And with all of the perks that you get of purchasing online, it does, it absolutely makes sense mm-hmm. to add that into your business model. So I've I mean, what I thought I would never love doing sourcing online, I've actually, it's turned into my happy place. I absolutely oh, really? give me a little green tea at Starbucks and turn <laughs> me loose. And I I could probably sit there for six hours and yeah. just lose all track of time sourcing. It's a, such a fun, fun experience that I've come to come to love. And then I do have one or two wholesale accounts. You know, I'm not heavy wholesaler. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe I will fall into more of those relationships as time goes by, but it's not my, it's not my strongest suit. I do have one or two, but, um, you know, who knows, you know, the world is your oyster on Amazon. So what you may be doing one day, yeah. you may be doing something totally new the next day. And that's right. part of the beauty of being an Amazon seller. Yeah. You know, the ocean is the Amazon ocean is so, so deep and so yes. wide and you can change the way you swim in that ocean anytime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you like tuna, there's plenty of tuna. If you like yes. mackerel, there's plenty of mackerel. Mm-hmm. You just got to kind of know where to go to find them, right? Yep. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, exactly. so uh, how long have you been in the in the coaching ranks now? So I have been coaching, I guess it's been, I mean, I'm just going off memory, probably okay. a little over a year. Okay. I have been coaching, and I would say in earnest, about 10, 10 months, maybe a little bit of a slower start, getting mm-hmm. ramped up, learning, you know, the ropes, but, you know, revving up and then, you know, it's, it's become a primary part of my week okay. um, in the last 10 months. It's a, you know, again, it's a, it's a, my, should I say it's my, the favorite part of my Amazon job? Yes. I will say it's the favorite part of my Me Amazon too. job is coaching. <laughs> We're the same way. If that's all we had to do, we would do that. Oh, I, could do that. I really yeah. could do that full time. I yeah. enjoy it so much. I enjoy people's stories. I enjoy. Yeah. Oh, I just enjoy watching the struggle. You know, I enjoy that. I enjoy watching how people can go from, I really need this to work for my family to actually making it work for their family. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm all in it. You know, I, nobody wants it for them more than we as coaches do. And so, mm-hmm. you know, we are going to move heaven and earth to help them achieve their goals. Mm-hmm. And I absolutely I'm thrilled to see, you know, how how my students go from A to Z. And I, I learn from them. I know you guys would say the same thing. Absolutely. A mutual relationship. Aren't uh, we really upped our game after we became coaches? Like it, yeah. like just seeing get, getting more exposure to the way people think and the way they execute in the business, even though we we were kind of guiding them down the path of here's how you do this. You, when you see someone else doing it, you go, Oh, I never even thought of. Right. 
Yeah, we learned so much there. You know, it's just the beauty of community. And I mean, no one can, you know, hold all the cards Mm -hmm. wisdom in a business. And so it is, it is a beautiful thing to be able to be mutual learners and mutual educators. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's, it's a win-win. It is a win-win for us. So so it sounds like you can provide coaching on RA, OA, the thrift side of it, right? The eBay side as well. Absolutely. Or I yes. local sell to the world. So you've got a very well-rounded skill set. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can I can kind of handle all of those worlds. And mm-hmm. so, you know, and I don't know everything about each world, but I know, you know, None of us a, do. Yeah. I, know, I know a good chunk yeah. to get you going, to mm-hmm. get you going. So, and what I don't know, I will... I will run down and find right. out. Yeah. yeah, we do that. <laughs> so is there a topic that is a recurring theme in your coaching sessions? I would say, you know, one thing that I really focus on with my students is how to create small bites with mm. big goals. So, you know, one of my favorite educators, I don't believe she's still living. Maybe she is a Marva Collins. She was an incredible educator in Chicago. And she was very famous for telling her students, you know, how do you eat an elephant Mm -hmm. one bite at a time? Well, that's how you read a big book, you know, Mm -hmm. and it's the same thing with any kind of business that you're trying to build. So a recurring theme with my students is how to make micro goals out of a macro vision. Mm. So, you know, trying to distill these micro pieces of advancement is, you know, I'm always going to bring it back to that in our sessions so that we're not leaving these things feeling overwhelmed, you know, with how do I drink the Amazon ocean? It cannot be done, you know, it can't be done all at once. There's just one teaspoon at a time that you take in and you're, you know, you you advance with small goals day after day. So we, you know, really try to use our sessions to identify those goals and have a measurement for achieving them. Mm-hmm. That, That's great. Uh, yeah, that, I, that I like that. A lot. Micro yeah. goals for the macro... Um, Vision. Macro vision. Do we say that right? Do we get that right? I don't even know uh, if that's a thing. But uh, I, <laughs> we're going to steal it. Vision? I don't know. Is that a word? I don't know. It seems like something you see on the movie, the, like when you go into a movie and it's say, presented by macro vision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's where I got it, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like it. It, it, really, it really does uh, set the stage because everyone wants to. I haven't, we haven't had a coaching client yet, I don't think, who didn't want to have a a six figure a month business. Yeah. Right. But when you hit those first few hurdles, it can be like deflating sometimes. And so to break, be able to chunk it down, break it down into these micro goals or micro activities that are slowly making that six figure a month uh, goal happen, then that's where success happens. Right. Mm -hmm. Totally. And, you know, one thing that I tell my students is that, you know, the, the, beautiful thing about Amazon is that it does not grow in incremental steps. I was just telling a couple right before I met with you guys this, you know, we believe that, oh, Amazon's going to grow at a predictable rate, an incremental step this much, like we would watch a plant, you know, oh, we know what it's going to look like in a week. We know what Mm -hmm. it's going to look like in two weeks, et cetera, et cetera. Amazon is not like that. You can be plodding along, plodding along and through sourcing, through, you know, the heavens opening up, you know, my goodness, you stumble on something that advances your business far mm-hmm. beyond what you would have anticipated in a given month. And so that's that's the real fun part of knowing that it with the right skill set and the right understanding of how to read data on Amazon, mm-hmm. you know, those doors do, you know, you say magically, but it, it is a result of you know, a lot of hard work and understanding, but those, they do open. And so, you know, your business can advance far beyond even in a few weeks, what you ever could have dreamed of. Yeah. I like to say that you move along and you move along and it feels like nothing's really happening. You're just making a little bit of progress. And then at some point it pops, like everything opens up because you've put in all those little steps and all of a sudden it opens up to you. 
This happened for us at a proven conference, mm-hmm. right? I was what? there, Brian was there, and uh, he was calling me, telling me how all of a sudden he just picked up a few things from people around him that he was meeting and visiting with, and it changed everything. It was it was amazing. So don't count out the proven conference. That's excellent advice. Change happens, and you know, and I, you know, maybe three years ago, I wouldn't have even believed you, Robin. You know, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have believed. Oh, how can just hearing, you know, this or that at a conference really change a business that that dramatically? But now we've seen it. Happen. I need no convincing. Over I mean, and over. I've lived yep. it. I've lived it, and I completely understand what you're saying. And part of it, seen other people live it too, mm-hmm. over and over and over. So I was going to say, part of it is just when you get around a group of people who are doing it already, and it sort of cements that belief. Those synapses in your brain come together and go, "Oh, I can do this." And when the belief is there, then look out; anything is possible, right? Exactly. Whatever you set your mind to is possible. Exactly right. That confidence really cements in, and yeah. you know that confidence is what gives us the fuel to make to make the purchases on Mm -hmm. the front side of, you know, the spend goals that we all set for ourselves without confidence, you know, we can't, you know, we can't achieve those. So it is a huge part of this business. Right. And there's a lot of faith required because there's work for, you know, four weeks, maybe six weeks before you actually see results and you have to keep spending the money and keep spending the money and (laughs) keep doing the sourcing and and, and that's why it does feel like it goes from zero to 60, like in two seconds. Yes. Or it can I mean, feel we're, we're all these, you know, online farmers, you know, mm-hmm. but the farmers know, you know, we get to experience in a whole different way. But, you know, right. this is how they live their lives in faith. Mm-hmm. They plant, mm-hmm. they hope, they water, mm-hmm. they're faithful. And then there's a harvest. And mm-hmm. Amazon is, you know, not not too terribly unlike that. That's true. Agreed. They they harvest, they get it all back, plus a whole lot mm-hmm. more. So sure. that's right. Yeah. So when you're working with someone, a new coaching client or someone that you've been working with for a while, when do you kind of get the sense that, oh, now they've got it, they're going to knock it out of the park? Is there something that you usually hear from them or some experience that happens? I usually stop hearing from them for a uh-huh. bit, you yes. know? And so <laughs> sometimes, yeah, sometimes on the front end, you know, and I, you know, my students, I have to just remind them, I work for you. You know, mm-hmm. you don't apologize to me for mm-hmm. contacting me, for asking questions. Mm-hmm. This is, this is what I do. I'm, I'm all yours for this year. You know, you please utilize this program. And so, you know, maybe the first half of the year, maybe I'm hearing a little more for, from them, which I love and I encourage, but there can be a time where some of my students go completely dark on me. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, most times find out it's just because they've started to fly on their own. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there is that then they hit another block and like, okay, Susan, I'm ready, you know, for you to take me to the next level. I've flown for six weeks, eight weeks. And, you know, now let's go back and get a new skill set for where I'm going now. Mm-hmm. But I can generally predict when things are a little quiet, you know, usually that's a great sign that they're starting to see a lot of success with this. And would you say that same thing? experience occurred for you? Well, Brian, no. <laughs> no, okay. Because <You> know? <laughs> I'm annoying. I'm the stupid nobody wants. <laughs> well, <laughs> I will drive you crazy. If uh, you, you know, if you sign up to work with me, you can just ask Larry and Sue. I am going to, <laughs> you know, I'm going to, I'm going, you know, I'm going for the 4.0. And so I am constantly asking questions. And some of it's just an effort to build confidence for me. You know, I want I want the affirmation from Larry and Sue's like, am I on the right path? Is this the right thing? Is this Mm -hmm. the right thinking? So for me, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm a little late to the party on, you know, flying on my own, but I do get there. But after a lot of, a lot of Q and A and, but it gives me a real understanding for my students who, who actually want that as well. Mm -hmm. They have, you know, you know, a higher threshold of questions that they want answered. And, and I, you know, I get that. I'm that kind of person. I do understand that. And so I'm not bothered in the least by a lot of questions or follow-up. 
Hey, we'll get back to the show in just a moment, but I'm excited to tell you about easily one of the top three most used Amazon seller tools in our community. I use it. My team uses it every day. The vast majority of the successful interviewed guests on this podcast use the tool. It's called Rev Seller, and they've got a special price just for this community. You can see the details of what the tool does and see the special offer at provenamazoncourse.com slash Rev Seller. I'll spell it R-E-V-S-E-L-L-E-R provenamazoncourse.com slash rev seller. It puts all kinds of useful information right on the screen, right on top of any listing on Amazon that helps you make a really fast, good decision on your inventory buys. You're going to love it. Go see what all it can do for you at provenamazoncourse.com slash rev seller. Let's get back to the show. I'm that kind of person. I do understand that. And so I'm not bothered in the least by a lot of questions or follow-up. I think that's great. My personal experience was I had kind of, we had a crazy summer, that first Proven Conference, when just before things kind of took off and I got busy though. I was busy shopping, prepping, shipping, because I was- And I wasn't helping you. No, and Robin at that time wasn't- (laughs) What? Yeah. No, I didn't. I I was busy doing some other stuff. (laughs) So I knew I was going to be out of town for- virtually the whole month that the conference was going on. So for the whole six weeks before that, I was just stuffing the the pipeline as full as I could get it. And so I didn't talk to my coach at all, um, really during those six weeks. But when we got to the conference, my coach was there and I got to meet her in uh, in person and, and which was great. And that's when things really changed for us, literally overnight. It was uh, literally overnight type of thing. Confidence, repricer, a couple of things that I heard, some strategies that I heard, and I just the the belief. Oh, I can go to the store and buy stuff. I can buy this on sale. I can do all these things that are, you know magically. And people do. And people, and people do. do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I really love that story because you know it shows that you put all the kindling together prior mm-hmm. to that conference. Mm-hmm. You know, your brain does have to be at a point. You know, I tell my students, people can look at keepographs all day long, but yes. if you don't have the wisdom to be able to act on what you're seeing, they're really worthless. And you would put in all that work going before the pack, the Proven Conference mm-hmm. that year. Mm-hmm. You had gone through all of the stages of sending an inventory, understanding how the system worked, mm-hmm. and then that match was lit, you know, at the yes. conference and yeah. you were ready to go. Right, right. And then that's when I got Robin's attention and she was able to. Yeah, then I was started paying attention. (laughs) Wow, I love, I do love it that it's something that you guys do together. It's one of, we love that too. What a gift. We should take this moment to appreciate the coach that you had as your primary coach, Mm -hmm. your proactive coach is no longer with the program, Mm -hmm. but Gail Treen was was our reactive coach and still just a great resource for us all the time. We love her that to death. Yeah. Sweet heart. Yeah, yeah, I know. Absolutely. Everybody sweet. loves her because she deserves it. Yeah. And, and I say this a lot, but we work, uh, we have some coaching clients in common. Right. Right. Because of the way the coaching yes. program works, you have a proactive coach. Always program. happy to see you on there. <laughs> <laughs> on my team. <laughs> yes. And a reactive coach. And likewise, by yeah. the way. Like, um, we are too. Yes. So it is interesting how just getting a different perspective. And when I did at one time, I reached out to Gail because I was frustrated. I, I remember saying, you know, well, why is this is not working for me? <laughs> and um, and Gail just was super calm and walked me few, through a few things and validated some. That's what I was going to say earlier about uh, you're reaching out to your coaches all the time. Um, hey, is this right? Am I thinking the right thing? Do you see the same thing that I do? To me, for me, that was worth the price of admission for coaching. Mm-hmm. Just being able to get validation of this is what I think mm-hmm. I see, or do you see the same thing, coach? Mm-hmm. Right? Someone who's more experienced. Mm-hmm. Yes. And learning from the nose. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not always exactly. just looking for a yes, but, right. you know, having a coach who's like, well, you know, no, and here's why. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. I can exactly. say that saves you a lot of money in right. the long haul. Yes. Yeah, a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure does. Yes. I think that's very true. So um, you uh, shared a story on a previous, I don't know, a podcast or a video session or something like that um, earlier in the year that really resonated with me and Robin because 
it's we didn't exactly do the same thing, but I'm very interested in implementing um, at least a portion of this. And, and it's relative to how you started outsourcing a, at least a portion of your business. Yes. And because as you're doing, uh, I'm assuming you still do from as I understand it, all the even the OA stuff comes to your home. Comes to my home currently, yes. Right, and so you've got your OA, your RA, your even your eBay stuff that all needs to be sort of prepped and shipped crazy out around here sometimes. Yes, right. <laughs> so, crazy. So you're not a one man band or a one yeah. woman band, as as the saying goes, right? So tell us about that. So you know, part of my part of my vision with even starting with Amazon was to be able to be a presence in my home. And be able, even though my kids are, you know, college, college age, one's married, mm -hmm. um, moved away. Um, my, our parents live, you know, far away, my mom, Paul's dad, and we wanted to, we want to be, be able to be a presence, a flexible presence in all of their lives. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, with Amazon, if you're inclined, there's a great way to be able to include your family in your business. And so, you know, one of the joys of the last couple of years has been employing my, my children, but not only them, but their friends, some of their friends' friends, <laughs> you know, people who, you know, may just need a, a temp job for a while. I probably hired you know, eight, you know, 18 people off and on in the last mm -hmm. two years. So you have a whole and network. There's a whole network of people who, you know, it's just been a joy to have in my home, training, working, really learning elements of the business, um, particularly the high schoolers who are working other minimum wage jobs at the same time, but then getting a glimpse of, hey, you know, I could, even at 16, I can start my own eBay business. Yeah. You know, Miss Susan, you know, can you teach me how to do that? Well, yes, yes, I can. <laughs> and so, you know, it's just been incredible to see their little businesses. Well, they're not so little anymore. You know, one in particular is, you know, able to leave his minimum wage job because he can make so much more on eBay than he ever could working at a fast food place. So that has just been part of what I've loved about Amazon. We've kind of structured it in a way similar to, you know, some like a shipped or an Instacart, which I did grocery delivery mm -hmm. shortly before COVID. And, you know, they send you opportunities through these apps to grab orders to deliver. And so I sort of modeled my texting to anybody who's in the loop, who's come in, trained with me, interviewed with me, um, they're on the text thread. And so, you know, just sending out the needs that I have in a, in a given week or, hey, you know, I need, I do need a lot of help tomorrow. I need four people, first four. And, you know, first four who yell back through the text, they're hired, they come. It's just been a great way to be able to implement a lot of people in a flexible way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's some things you have to, you know, kind of work through and understand. You do have your, you know, your more serious workers kind of rise to the surface over time, those who really want as many hours as you can give them. But, you know, actually it's all, I think it's all worked out really well in the long run for me and for, you know, those kids and some adults that I've, that I've employed. So um, you just have an opportunity to, you know, be a giving tree for your community, mm -hmm. for your family. And um, it's a, it's a great part of, great part of the business. I think that is just lovely. So you could help other people who have uh, families or community uh, that they want to help out. You could help them set that up uh, if they were your coaching clients. True. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, some of, you know, for, some of, you know, my kids who, kids, friends, like I mentioned, the, e, the one in particular who started his eBay store. I mean, he hasn't signed up for me to be a coaching client. Yet. <laughs> okay. but, he, but, but he, you know, he, he was learning enough on the job here to be able to take those skills and make something really special with it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're, if you do have kind of an entrepreneurial heart, mm -hmm. you know how, when you can find those young entrepreneurs that you want to invest in, you know, you, you can identify them right away. And so they're, they're a lot of fun to work with. And, you know, and, and honestly, 
I mean, I don't know if there's an age limit for the coaching pro- program, but you know, I no. would, say, I mean, I would just say, you know, this is an idea. I've never thought of this before, but if my kids were still that age, it would be an excellent class. Mm-hmm. You know, I agree. It is going to be as good as anything to uh-huh. you know, sign sign your 16-year-old up for Amazon coaching. I mean, my goodness, if if they could get those skills at that age and mm-hmm. have it even as a backup job, you know, for the course of, you know, some people put themselves through college with this, you know, as we've heard on Jim's podcast, mm-hmm. you know, there, there, it is an excellent way to learn. And so, you know, in my opinion, as good as any college course that you're going to take on business is, Great. you know, going through the coaching program. 100%. Now you mentioned a couple of the shopping services. Do you uh, have folks do shopping for you? Do they do prepping for you as well? Yes. So same thing. I okay. kind of train everyone on everything. So, I mean, now some of, some of my kids don't want to shop. Some kids sure. don't want to, and they don't sign up for those things, mm-hmm. but yeah, I will, I can send, I can send the best, the best of them out with a list, you mm-hmm. know, who knew that they are just, some of them have, you know, no inhibitions at all of going into a store and, buying large quantities of things. And so, you know, actually my son, my son was um, doing this a, a, a year or two ago, uh, one of his shopping trips and he went in and one of the workers, one of the workers asked for a selfie with him. <laughs> Did you know, you're, oh, you're a legend a- around <laughs> here. Oh my gosh. So he said, Can I please have my picture made with you? And so, <laughs> um, you know, it, it was great. So it's, you know, I was telling my husband, you know, just last night, I really loved watching my own kids get really comfortable speaking with managers and cashiers and people in stores. That's been a, a huge blessing just to mm-hmm. have a comfort level with, you know, explaining, here's what I'm doing. I wonder, you know, I wonder if, you know, I wonder if this, I wonder if that, if we could partner with the store in this way or that way. Mm-hmm. And who knew that they could be even more effective than than me as an adult walking uh-huh. in. So nobody's asked to have their selfie made with me. I'll tell right. you that. <laughs> <laughs> no one. Well, wait till we get the conference. I'm going to get a selfie with <laughs> okay, you. Okay, yes. <laughs> so, awesome. so we are going to see you um, at the Proven Conference this year. Yeah. So I'm so excited. I cannot Good. wait. We've had reservations now for six months. Yes. Um, I'm Paul's coming with me. I, I don't know if he's going to be a, a big attender. He's got a lot of work, you know, that he's going to be mm-hmm. able to be there for his own job, but um, he's going to be still in the background with me. And mm-hmm. I, I just cannot wait to go. There's some other local folks heading up. And so nobody's a stranger there. Yeah. Study. Yeah. It's yeah. A, yeah. It's a great place to be in the middle of. Yeah. Oh, with all those I people. absolutely cannot wait. So mm-hmm. um, it's only, what, well, six weeks Mom. away. After yeah. Yeah. Oh, we oh were, my goodness. We were, we were, <laughs> it's the end of March when we're recording this. So no, it's the end of May. I'm sorry. The end of May. <laughs> Rob and I just went right along with you. Yeah. yeah. The end of March. <laughs> that just moved <laughs> fast. <laughs> You lose all track of time with Amazon people. <laughs> we we just were rescheduling one of our flights this morning to get out there um, a little bit earlier than we had originally planned. So, um, yeah, it's coming up. We're going to be on a family vacation just before. So we're hitting the road a, week, a month from today. Yes. Oh, so <laughs> tell me about uh, what goals do you have for your business in 2023? Uh, like maybe implementing some new things this Q4? And maybe where do you see your business going next year? Well, that's a great question. I was actually just processing this with my mastermind group today, asking for for all the advice from the gurus in there. You know, I'm really trying to add another kind of another appendage onto my business. I don't want to change anything about what we're doing at home right now with shipping things out of my home, but I would really like to add in that prep center piece Mm -hmm. so that, you know, when we do, we do a good bit of travel with Paul's job and it would be super nice to have elements of my business continue on with the prep center, 
you know, I can hit the road with the computer and keep things going anywhere in the world. And so that is a, that's going to be a goal to kind of get there an investment of learning how to, you know, get on, you know, get all the processes for dealing with the prep center and then how to really begin allocating funds towards a new area of my business. So that's, that's one big goal I have. Um, I'd like to have that little interstate built by quarter four Mm -hmm. um, trying. So that, that's my, that's my new, that's my new horizon for Amazon. I like it there, you know, I would, you know, next year, would I love to, you know, use hummingbird and be branded and, you know, yes, I would love to do that. So, you know, but that, that's, you don't have to do everything all at once. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, you can just take your time and enjoy the journey. And so not stressed out. Oh, I've got to get all of this done today. You know, that's okay. We're just going to go at a pace that, you know, that, that is going to work for our lifestyle and it'll come when it comes. But those are, those are two areas I'd really like to see, you know, some growth this year and next. I love it. The micro tasks, remember, for mm-hmm. the macro vision. Yes. Right. Yes. So the little things like we all know, we all want it to happen now. Well, yeah. Right. We all do. <laughs> and we, but here's the thing I, I think we've learned that when you try to do everything, you do nothing. Mm-hmm. So you have to, you have to chunk it down and, and just take it in small bite sized pieces like you've been talking about. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. Yeah. You don't want to lose the essence of what's working for you yeah. Yeah. now in the present to try to, you know, take a bigger bite of something that you're not ready for. So there's yeah. a, there's so much wisdom that it takes to know, you know, when to pull the trigger on certain things mm-hmm. and, you know, what's right for you and what's right for your family. And, um, you know, it's all good. It's all good. It gets to where it needs to go. And, you know, it helps to have the group of people that you're, you know, running these these uh, opportunities by the, your your mastermind, your coaching team. There are a lot of outlets, and and uh, I think at, at an application layer for coaching clients, the same sort of thing. When you get into the coaching program, you have the whole team, mm-hmm. right? You've got your proactive coach, your reactive coach, yourself your partner if you're working with one and that's a big mastermind if you use it. It doesn't mean you're you'll all necessarily be together at the same time, but it doesn't mean that you can't take the information from everybody and make a great plan. Right. No, that's exactly right. And I, I think that's a good point to people may not know that, that you're mm-hmm. not just sort of put into a compartment with one coach. Mm-hmm. Right. That, you know, you do have a proactive coach. You're also given a reactive coach. But you have to remember that those coaches are connected to a huge network Mm -hmm. of colleagues. And so, you know, my goodness, I'm constantly throwing things out. You know, what do you guys think about this? This student is experiencing this or that. Any Mm -hmm. wisdom on this or that? So the, you know, the pool of wisdom that is actually flowing through each of us as coaches is a lot bigger than one person. You know, it's a lot bigger than one person. It is the cumulative effect of decades of experience in this Mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. And so you're, you know, you're really accessing all that through the portal of, you know, one or two coaches. Yeah. Agreed. They're like your conduits. Mm Yeah. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I like that. So uh, we wouldn't have had you on here if you weren't um, taking new coaching clients, but I do want to just get it out there. Like you are available if someone were to say, hey, I would love to sign up and work with Susan. Yes, I'm available. Okay. Um, you know, it, it all goes through the coaching program. Right. Students are assigned yes. to me through the wisdom of, you know, my my bosses. But, <laughs> yes, you can absolutely, you know, put in the request and um, we'll go from there. So. Yeah, so if you're out there and you can relate with Susan and you feel like that she would be a good coach for you, feel mm-hmm. free to ask for her when you call the coaching office. Absolutely. Will you be my coach? Will you be my coach? I'll bet we can work something out. I think we probably can. Yes. Yes. You're hired. (laughs) As are you. (laughs) Well, it's been such a joy to have you on the show today. We really love getting to know you a little bit better than we did before, having some direct interaction, hearing a little bit more about your story. 
Yeah, and we can't wait to see you at Proven Conference. Oh, I, I can't. So, Robin, it's not 90 days away. Yes. 30 days away. 30 days. We're in May. We're almost done with May. So <laughs> enjoy your family vacation. Enjoy your people. Um, yeah. and, and I know you'll come with full cups to the conference. And I just can't wait to see you. Well, we can't wait to see you either and meet Paul. It should be great. Yes. Yeah. Um, anything else before we kind of wrap this up? You know, I know people are probably listening who, you know, are still just unsure mm -hmm. about, you know, taking a step into a coaching program. And my, my encouragement to you would be what my husband said to me, you know, don't get paralyzed. You're not, you're not going to mess anything up by making a phone call. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the folks who are going to kind of talk you through the coaching program um, and give you the information that is not going to hurt one bit. <laughs> no. The information. In fact, they're very giving. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and sometimes, and all, it's this program has so much integrity attached to it. Sometimes mm -hmm. they will say, this is not for you. You know, mm -hmm. this is not for you. That's okay. Yeah. But it is not going to hurt to pick up the phone and get involved and just see, just see, you know, hey, mm -hmm. is this for me? Is this not? Mm -hmm. You're not going to be in trouble if you don't do it. So right. Right. just exactly. give it a try, you know, right. see, see, exactly. see if it's a fit. That would be my that would be my last advice for everyone. Okay, Excellent. that's great. All right, Robin, anything uh, final from you? I think I'm good. I've enjoyed this time very this much. Been, this has been great. Really enjoyed uh, spending some time with you, Susan. Again, looking forward to seeing you um, in Columbus in just over a month. <laughs> Can't wait, you guys. Thank y'all so much. Of thank course, you. thank you. Hey, one last thing before I let you go, just a little reminder, now that the show is over, it's a great time to go check out Rev Seller. I've told you before, it's one of the top three most popular tools used in our massive Amazon seller community. It puts information right on the screen when you're on amazon.com that helps you make great buying decisions about your inventory very fast. Is this a winner or is it a loser? Rev Seller can help you make great decisions. Check out the special offer they have just for listeners of this community. It's the best price you'll find anywhere on this tool at provenamazoncourse.com slash Rev Seller, R-E-V-S-E-L-L-E-R. -E -E hey, see you next time. Hey, thanks for joining us today. I've got one last thing before I let you go, though. Stick around for a tip from Jeff Schick. If you haven't heard him before, he stops in once a week or so, hangs out with us for a few minutes, and talks about Amazon policy, Amazon legal. He's the go-to expert for our team, for my business, for so many of the leaders and coaches in our community, and a whole bunch of listeners to this show as well. Sure. He's got a great model where for just a few dollars a day, you can put him on retainer and anything Amazon legal policy, those sorts of things, IP complaints, his team handles it with you and for you. And he's always got a great tip for us. It's jeffschick.com. You can see it in the show notes as well. But Jeff, what do you got for us this week? All right. Well, today we're talking about something a bit more sensitive. It's uh, stolen goods on Amazon. And uh, I'll jump right into it. We have about eight sellers that we're working with right now that have had some form of stolen goods issue touch their account. So mm -hmm. some sellers are being asked to verify where their goods came from. And they're thinking that they might have a problem. Uh, we have some sellers that have actually been notified by Amazon that they were found to be selling stolen goods who are currently suspended. And we have other sellers who, who were notified that they were selling stolen goods but are not suspended that are kind of like in a limbo state right now. And so it's just, Amazon's been taking different actions depending on the seller pretty arbitrarily um, in typical Amazon fashion. It's a great uh, area that you need to avoid at all costs is what I'm hearing so far. Uh, Absolutely. So, and it really comes down to diligence, due diligence. Mm -hmm. So, and, and by the by the way, just to be clear, I, I don't think anyone in our community actually steals goods, but you can get your hands on stolen goods without realizing it, right? Really easily, the deal feels too good to be true. Eddie selling out of the back of his truck or some bargain discount barn. I mean, like, where are these stolen goods ultimately coming from? That's those are my guesses. And people aren't actually going out and stealing goods and selling them. No, no, they yeah, no, no, no. I, I don't think most of our clients, yeah. I can say uh, at least 100% of clients I'm working with did not actually physically shoplift the goods. Right. Um, but they did, per but every one of the clients I worked with actually bought from what they thought was a wholesale company. Mm -hmm. So they, it wasn't even like they went to, you know, bargain basement, you know, you know, pallets, pallets are, you know, available here for 20 bucks, you know, and type right. of place. They actually went to legit wholesalers, 
they paid close to regular MSRP, you know, or did or wholesale pricing on a product. So, you know, if a product goes for twenty dollars retail and distributor pricing would be, you know, twelve bucks or whatever, you know, think keystone pricing, it'd be like twelve bucks, ten bucks. Uh, they paid ten bucks, twelve bucks for it. They didn't there wasn't it wasn't they were paying two dollars. They were paying full price. But it turns out that these distributors or wholesale companies were fake. And they were just they're just shell companies set up by um, what right now the California Highway Patrol is alleging to be, you know, drug cartels that stole goods. Um, either wow. some of them stole entire tractor trailers, some of them wow. robbed warehouses, and then some of them actually sent children into stores and shopped Shop up the goods from stores. Knowing so, that they can't get in trouble because they're under 18. And, you know, in California, you've got the $900 a day limit or whatever it is. People are trying to figure right. out how to turn those stolen goods into cash. Yeah, you know, and we've all seen the, you know, crash and grab mobs clearing out stores. What are they going to do with that stuff? Well, try to turn it into cash. That right. stuff could end up on a pallet. And next thing you know, you're selling it. That's right. crazy. Wow. So, so I know it's like this obviously introduced a lot of fear. So how do we avoid it? I mean... I'd hate to say a blanket rule is avoid any wholesaler based in Southern California. <laughs> but if they are based in Southern California, you Red may flag. want to really do your due diligence because right. that's where right now most of these companies are coming from. Well, that's where the crazy so, laws are. That's where right. you know the, the center of the crazy universe seems to be there a lot of times when it comes to business laws. And, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean, verify it, look it up yourself, but it's like either $500 or $900 a day you can shoplift yes. and you're not going to be prosecuted. Right. It's quite crazy. It's quite a lot. So, so how do you avoid it? I mean, really, it just comes down to due diligence. So, you know, if some, if you look up and, you know, I'm going to make up a complete, completely made up name here, you know, prime distributors. Well, first off, might be concerned about the word prime because that's a red flag that this is not, that this is like not a real distribution company, but it sounds cool. And it probably resonates well with Amazon sellers because they hear prime and think, oh, wow, it must be a legitimate big company. No, it's really not. Yeah. Yeah. So first thing is you think about the name, you know, do they, does the name sound like Amazon or Prime or any of these Amazon-ish type companies? If it does, red flag. Similarly, go to um, California Secretary of State. They have us, you can type in any company that's registered in California. Mm -hmm. So if they claim that their name is, you know, Amazing Wholesale Deals LLC, you go to, go to um, type it in on Secretary of State. Was it created last year? If so, they're probably not an authorized dealer of big brand name products. It's really right. hard to get those contracts. Right. So that's another red flag. Or if it doesn't exist at all, big red flag too. You know, like if it's mm-hmm. just a fake company. Mm-hmm. Um, other things you can use, uh, things like internet archives, waybackmachine.org, I believe is what it is. You can type in any website there and see what it looked like throughout history. You know, if they, they have screenshots in time. So if you type it in and it says it was created, you know, six months ago, Red flag, you know, big wholesale companies selling brand name goods are generally established businesses that have been around at least a decade. I mean, you know, it's you don't get to sell 3M products if you haven't been around for 10 years or more. It's right. It's, you're not they're not taking startups out of generosity of their heart. They're it's just not going to happen because they've got to uphold their supply chain. So, it, you know, and then just, you know, talking to people, you know, if they don't have a phone number, they don't have a legit, you know, address like you should be able to type in the address for a distributor on google maps and click on street view and if they're a big distributor that's selling you know i'm just gonna harp on 3m by the way 3m is not one of the stolen products but it's assumed that you know it's 3m that they're you're going to buy from them 3m is not going to sell to a distributor that doesn't have their name the name of the company on the side of the building or at least on a sign so if you're going down the street and it's a ups store address definitely not not real distributor if you're going on the PO box, not a real distributor. If you're going on and it's a house, not a real distributor. Mm-hmm. If you go on and it's a warehouse, but there's no name on it, or the name on the warehouse on Street View doesn't match up with the name that you're expecting for the company, right. doesn't mean that it's not a real distributor. But I would certainly look Red into flag. what is that company. You know, like yeah. what is the name on that warehouse? Yep, and look them up and figure out you know who they are. Great tips, man. So if if I'm one of your clients and I've got you on retainer and I'm considering a wholesale source, is this something that you guys would help me investigate? Absolutely. We do it all the time for sellers. So you just schedule a 20 minute call with us. There's no charge. We jump on the phone. We look at it with you. And, you know, I like to say we tear it apart. (laughs) It's either going to be able to put back together or it'll end up in a pile on the floor. And it's, you you want to avoid that pile anyway. So yeah, it's, uh, 
And I, I love you guys goes. are developing some real instincts where I've noticed a few times I've reached out to your team and it's like, yeah, you're the 30th person to ask. Yep, don't do that. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> well, there you go. You've already done the hard work and research. You guys already kind of probably know who some of these bad actors are. Don't want to get you into the any litigation by calling them out on a podcast, but you guys have your yeah. list internally that we can kind of all benefit from by bouncing these things off, getting your we, opinion on things. So I always appreciate that, we, man. Absolutely. We definitely do. We have a list of brands and we have a list of distributors and stores and everything in between. So the beauty of us is we're completely paperless because obviously we've got a team on multiple continents here. So right. we all have to share access to this data. Yep. And so it's, you know, we can type in almost any data point into our tool and it's going to give us a global view of who's worked on that case, if there is any case related to it, mm-hmm. what happened and how. And so we we use that for a lot of our, deci- our you know, decision making, you know, yeah. decision trees. Yeah. I think so, of you guys almost as like as a as a, a traffic light, you've got your red light. Like, no, no, do this, stay away. You got your green light. Yeah, yeah, go for it. And you got your yellow, like, well, here's the risk. Some people are getting away with it. Some people are getting, you know, into some trouble here. You make your decision, but here's our advice. Um, you got it. Ideally, the, with the more clarity that Amazon operates, that yellow portion would disappear completely, but they're not always consistent. So, you know, that's the world we get to play in. But you guys are doing a great job serving the community well. Looking forward to seeing you at the conference, the Proven Conference. You're a great sponsor this year. I really appreciate that, man. We are so happy to be able to help so many people go to the conference this year. So, you know, it's uh, it, it's really exciting. When I talk, I've talked to several of our clients that have gotten some of those, gotten some of the scholarship tickets. And it's really exciting to, to be able to say, hey, I can't wait to see you in July and right. talk face-to-face about your business. So yeah, I'm excited for Yeah, make that possible for sure. You guys were the top sponsor at the event this year and we're very generous and absolutely, like you pointed out, we've been able to offer many people scholarships. We still have a handful, actually. If someone sure. wants to inquire about that, they can go to theprovenconference.com slash scholarship, fill out the form. If finances are a little tight, you're checking out our community, but you can't quite justify the expense, we'd love to get you there at no cost. Come just experience this community. Here, Jeff, he's going to be speaking, presenting on several great topics, rolling out some new stuff that we can't wait to bring to the community at some great discounts yeah. just for attendees. Uh, this right. goes for live stream listeners as well. If you can't attend, get to theprovenconference.com and look for the live stream option. We're going to have a lot of people join us that way too, Jeff. But thanks awesome. for hanging out with me today, man. Can't wait to do this Thank again you. next week. We on? That sounds good. All right. All right. Talk to you then. Thank you. See Bye. you.